31st of August. This is your daily debrief on crypto news. Let's dive in. Plenty of things to cover. Let's go. Things are going down. ETH up a little bit, but in reality, we've just dipped down. There's a little bit more fear in the market. But before we get into the market, in general, I think it's going to be a pretty fearful kind of month until we see how the elections go, to be honest. Now, a lot of this has to do with the fact that, and I'm keeping out, keeping politics out of this, but, and some people are going to be for this, some people are going to be against this, but essentially the world's going through a bit of a change where we know that Pavel, the CEO of Telegram, he was arrested. We've got Elon Musk's uh, Twitter platform being taken down in Brazil. Uh, and this is crazy. Like this is properly scary. Like if I had a company or something like that in Brazil, I would be actually more, far more concerned of getting it out of that country. We've got many things happening with Europe, all related to free speech. And I think this is going to put actually a downward kind of pressure on the markets because it's just, it's going to like, we're going to be a little bit scary. Now, not everyone even cares for free speech. Not everyone cares for privacy. Most of us don't even have privacy. And I personally don't even say anything controversial on this channel because like, I don't actually want to get in trouble. But let's have a quick little look at what Elon Musk is saying. And just uh, if you like him or don't like him, I want to see if I can find anything just on the fact that we are going through a little bit of a crisis here. If you don't know what's actually happening with Brazil, there's basically uh, one thing to keep in mind is like Elon, when he re responds to these things, he just he doesn't, he doesn't go with any kind of professionalism, which of course means the other person kind of digs their heels in and pushes harder, which is a little bit difficult, but it is what it is. Let's have a look uh, and see. Okay, this is the cr kind of crazy thing. So Brazil has banned Twitter. It's blocked, right? So then Elon Musk sent over some Starlinks and said free access. And now they've been confiscated. The average wage is apparently $1,500 a month in Brazil, typically. And it's about $8,800 per day if you're using a VPN to access Twitter. So there will be, if Twitter's now, then it will also be Telegram. I can't find it here directly, but it is, uh, it will be mentioned pretty, pretty recently. The fact that uh, in Europe, in Europe, there's now like, they're also trying to censor free speech, free speech as well. Exactly where do you draw the line in terms of like hate speech and whatnot? Who knows? But basically, the month is going to be a little bit scary. In fact, even September could be a little bit scary. Let's be safe. So St. Pump says $2 trillion market cap is the horizontal level for the bulls this week. And I actually don't think, uh, I think we're going to struggle. Just purely just through the just the, just the news. There's no bullish news coming out. We're, we're fighting at the moment. The Bitcoin market cycle indicator is in a bear market phase. I'm not shorting or anything like this. I, I don't want to do anything like that. I'm still just kind of DCA in, but this is not the time that I would be really, really keen to launch a token or jump into an NFT. I just don't think it will do well. When we go blue, we go down. We've just entered blue. We can come up again, but I think it's more likely that October or even November, November is when we go a little bit crazy. Mumba's take is basically, you know, dramatically reducing risk because of predatory or choppy. So if you are seeing actual traders out there posting stuff, just, just be mindful that they can hedge. So please don't ape into things with leverage. I, it's going to be vicious, I think. Goldman Sachs has fired 1,300 employees. The actual document says they're going to lay off about 1,300 employees from its global workforce as part of a, an annual review process to cull low performers. So uh, not super, super crazy. I mean, I don't know how many, how many they have, but they're getting rid of low performers. A little bit strange to be getting rid of them now, but that's what I've decided. Elon Musk says me. Me in relation to what? Bringing back Dogecoin payment for different options with Tesla stuff. Now, the as a reminder, in the previous cycle, when Elon tweeted out something like Doge, it could pump like 40% in a day. So I'm not saying you want to have a little bit of a bag of Doge. It's probably going to be an easy 10x, not financial advice, but, uh, and I think it's around 10 cents right now. But just letting you know that when he start, like if you like him or don't like him, Elon Musk changes tokens. So if he starts to like a token and he just puts it out once, if you're in that token, that's a good profit taking opportunity potentially. Starbucks is, is, is accepting Bitcoin as payment in El Salvador. My understanding with El Salvador is everyone has to legally be able to like, have to take Bitcoin. Don't know if that actually happens. But either way, as much as I wouldn't like be spending my Bitcoin on Starbucks, I think this is kind of clever. And with Ethereum and Vitalik, he has been uh, dumping quite a bit of his Ethereum, like a lot. He basically dresses like I do. My wife says I don't have the best fashion sense, and it's pretty valid. Yet 
where's it like where's all this money going? So three years ago, Vitalik said he had uh, three hundred twenty-five thousand ETH. That was one point four six billion at the time when the ETH was at all-time highs, and now he ho- holds two hundred forty thousand five hundred ninety-two million. So he's sold uh, eighty-five. Sorry, uh, yeah, he's sold eighty-five thousand ETH. Now every founder is going to dump their token, and I and I don't know how it looks for Solana. Uh, without the on-chain data, we, we don't know. So one, th- we've got some transparency here. But two, as much as I think Base and Monad will do well, I just do not think uh, that like the actual ETH token is really worth holding. I really do wish I moved more of it into Seoul when it hit 4,000 earlier. Jupiter News, if you don't know, the launchpad is going to become permissionless uh, and de- decentralized. More on this as it kind of is worked out. For those people, and there's been like the occasional trolley comment, for those people that say, say things like like nothing is like all the tokens coming out they're all rubbish or whatever we're not in the part of the cycle where things just pump and pump and pump like and meme coins are taking the most of the attention one thing is they've you know identified more and more things right these are things that if any other launch pad actually shipped them it would be absolutely amazing and this is trying to create that alignment between the early and the late the vcs and the insiders and the team and the community and so this in the last nine months this has been very very amazing what has actually been produced uh i'll let you know how the next launches kind of look but until we get into this kind of october maybe november period of starting to show some really bullish momentum this is maybe more the time that you go through your wallets you have a look at any altcoins you don't want and you put them back into seoul or even pyusd usdc use carrot DeFi, use lulo use camino whatever you want to do some tokens are not just gonna they're not gonna perform well unless you've got like a big conviction with them the Jupe Perps deck has also gone through some fee changes. So still mega bullish for JLP. What we could probably see as a token, the token's APY may fall down initially, but then more people will start to use it. Come October, November, this will be heavily, heavily used is my kind of guess. Just really, really risky longing or shorting right now. It's just very choppy. This is very important. Come to Breakpoint. I want to know who is coming to Breakpoint. I have no idea how many people... Uh, I personally like, watch the channel will be there. Uh, I'll try and r- run some sort of poll. Of course, if you if you meet me, just say hi. I'm going to be there doing as much content as I can. I think even though Breakpoint's going to cost you maybe $5,000, it will be very plus EV if you're willing just to network and chat and just absorb information. There's 4,000 tickets already sold, which I believe is the record. Can't confirm that, but I believe it is a record. Also remember Token24 is happening afterwards. Oh, sorry, it's happening before. And I'll have a link later. Uh, you can use that to get like a 10% discount. There's no discounts available for Breakpoint. Uh, Haley, this is the hot girl. She is going to be confirming. She's confirmed to be coming to Breakpoint. Just be aware that you know, someone could, I mean, ideally I can have a chat with her and make sure she doesn't go and create like a celebrity meme coin that has some spin on it, which actually goes to zero. But you got to be mindful because if she, if she puts put something out, she can probably destroy her reputation like uh, every other meme coin popper. I've got a video on what to expect in Singapore and what it costs, where to stay, where to fly, how to fly, all that sort of stuff. Check it out. Plenty of alpha. Bonk news. Starting now, votes at Miss Bonk are hidden for round three, the dog wanted to tune up the suspense until the big reveal on September 7th. So in round three, get amongst it. Always get amongst it. Anything related to bonk, in my opinion, I'm always happy to spend a little bit of my bonk in order, even though this is free, in order to take part in it because bonk rewards those at bonk. Lucky Dragon Tail, which is like maybe like a bit of a contract, I guess you could say, but the other guys that are uh, working with bonk and integration in order to give rewards back. And they're going through a rebrand. This rebrand is coming soon. And this is done by Abby Glue. And she is a brilliant uh, brander. That's, that's what I'm inclined to say. She's done a in Barrows. She's done the Barrows branding amongst other branding. Topo as well. If you're not, if you don't, ha- if you have an orphan, make sure you're active in the in the Barrows Discord. Uh, if you're not, if you don't, then you may want to consider getting one. And I'm not as active as I like to be because I'm a little bit too busy with content, but that's okay. Topo is always giving away bonk if you're an orphan holder. The the raffles they are done in a you know in a way where no one's cheating them. You can't cheat them. It's just a random boom. So make sure if you want some bonk that you actually apply for those or, or get into those. He's also giving away 21 million to bonk during the next, the first week of NFL. Follow Dragon with notifications on and he'll explain that soon. So put this on and we'll find out about that. Have a little bit of news on Solana ID. They raised $550,000 from a thousand investors within a three hour time window, which I think is 
quite good. I like that they've gone for a, a low raise initially, and I have got a video on this, and I, I am very, very keen to see how they build out everything. I like Solana ID. If you're not interested in the token yet, if it's not clear enough to you because you can't even buy it off the markets at present, but if you are interested in it, they'll have like another, uh, an IDO kind of coming up in the future. In the meantime, the action award is very simple. I've got a video on it. It's just go and spend about $6 or less than that in Seoul and actually mint your solid priority pass and then go and connect all these to try and get yourself into first or business class. I've done a video on it. I am properly excited for it. Golfin is excited to announce its partnership with Moonwalk Fitness. I've done a video on Golfin. I like Golfin NFTs a lot. Probably the only NFT that's gone up in value of recent times. One of the only ones. They have $2,000 in prizes for Moonwalk. Entry is $50. The duration is nine days. I don't know how many steps it is. I don't know if I can do it, but if you have a golf and NFT, you can gain access to Discord and then you can enter this. Zillow Finance Beta, this is the lossless lottery system. This is now live. If you put your address down there yesterday, then uh, you'll be in the beta. So go check it out. See if you're keen. FB Lee has some quick thoughts on the centralized exchange LSTs. So there's Bybits, BitGets, and Binances. This is very, very big. Here's, here's his view. Sol is one of the best, most useful assets in the world. Staking Sol is the best way to get real world, a real yield on that asset. And Sanctum is trying to make it more possible. The actual Sanctum token, Cloud, how does it relate to that? Who knows? But it doesn't matter because they grow their TVL. They get more eyes on them. I'm pretty sure the Sanctum token will do very, very well. I've had that thought. It hasn't changed in the entirety. But one thing that I like is the fact that like Sol is really well aligned to really outperform as that layer one. Anything with, say, in the top 30 tokens on CoinGecko, any layer one here, I don't think that anyone's going to, in the top 30, I don't think anybody's going to outperform uh, Seoul. That's just my viewpoint. Famous Foxes, Cloud is now available on CoinFlip. Don't like CoinFlip games in the slightest, but you may do. So I'm just letting it out, letting you know. D-Bridge is pre-trading on KuCoin, which of course would mean they're going to actually trade KuCoin afterwards. So if you don't want to do this with Wells Market, you can do it at KuCoin if you're a part of that exchange. And the snapshot for the cat airdrop has been completed. To check your, if you this is if you held Flocky, to check your airdrop, just come here. I think it'll take one to two weeks before you're actually distributed. It says right here, in, or in two weeks. You can click on this, paste in your address, or anybody's address, you don't have to connect and you can see if you are eligible. NX Staking and NX Finance, they have the IDO coming up, not bearish, not excited, not bullish, not bearish on the IDO, but you can obviously start to farm some points by using it. I've got a thousand dollars in there, I'm probably going to put another one or two thousand dollars into this and just level up my JLP with like maybe 3x leverage. Pathfinders, their mint is over, so what is next? Here's a thread if you're keen that they uh, were worth two path soul which is essentially two soul. And apparently, apparently their floor went up. So let's have actually a quick little look. Pathfinders, not really. Okay, so they're, they're back to basically break even. But either way, this is, a, this is a really cool thing that they've done. And if you want to dissolve, it's now been enabled. You can go and dissolve it. Do not manually burn it. Just watch this and give that a go. Camino news, remember, be in soul, Binance Camino. This is going to be very, very big. It's going to bring a lot more people on chain and Camino multiply, lend liquidity and leverage. It's all going to use BN Soul. So if you're bullish on Binance and Camino, uh, I want you to use validate.com Soul. So use validate.com Soul or just stay directly with us. We don't have an LST at present. But either way, I guess my go to here is I'm really bullish on the Camino token. We've got some news here related to Monad and Backpack. So Backpack is a wallet I don't like to use. But I think, uh, I, I don't even, I don't actually think it's very good. It always locks on you. Uh, and Soulflare is my favorite, but I'm very excited for Monad. It's going to be very, very hypey. It's going to be one of those things you want to get the airdrop and most likely absolutely sell the, the airdrop just instantly or even pre-sell it. But they'll be networking over here and you've got the founders and the photo. I mean, this is pure speculation, right? I don't think necessarily using the backpack extension is going to do anything for you. But if you can use the backpack exchange, or maybe if you've got a mad lad, these should start to maybe link some things to Monad. I think a lot of people will be very excited on that if you get some sort of airdrop. I cannot use backpack exchange because it's not available in Europe. But if you can use backpack exchange, I would just generate some volume over there just for the sake of like, you know, maybe it's going to be worth a couple thousand dollars or more in, in Monad tokens. Jesse has a guide on the airdrops happening this September. There's Magic Eden, which of course has a decent hype. D-Bridge, they're working on the launch, no dates. And there's Grass, which is coming maybe 
uh, should come in September, and then the NX. Uh, tokenomics 50% goes to the community. So I don't know if you can still farm diamonds at this stage. Debridge, you can still use this. There's always going to be on, ongoing rewards. Grass, I'm using this. And NX, I'm using this. We have some random news here, which is not going to fit a lot of people's budgets, but it's very cool to see. So uh, BibTab, they used to be, uh, I think they were creating like a, a solution for privacy. They, they rebranded from uh, Soulwipe or something. Maybe they even say who they rebranded from. I can't remember. Either way, this is, kind of, this is really cool. They're working on offshore banking and offshore banking is hard. Like there's so many regulations, just obviously the world leaders are trying to fight terrorism, but they're basically trying to put in a lot more control. And so these guys are working on privacy first banking. This is not me saying to avoid taxes or whatever. But it'd be, it's very good if you can create a crypto company and then actually have a reliable banking solution to go fiat to crypto and back and forth. So they've created this. These guys have just gone ahead and they have got $2 million in funding. A little bit low, but either way, I hope they manage to build what they're, they're looking at. And I don't know what you can do to get, get started. But just keep in mind that these guys are building and hopefully you can use them when you create your own company. All right, let's go on to the actionables. Vote for Miss Bonk Korea. Get to breakpoint. If you can get to breakpoint, it's really worthwhile. Watch my goal from video and then jump into Moonwalk Fitness and ensure you won't be liquidated if Sol goes lower. It's a tricky time right now. If Sol goes down to $100, will you be liquidated in Camino? If it goes down to $90, if you will be liquidated, you know, beef it up if you can. This is not a time to really be leveraging up, in my opinion. Stake your soul with Felday.com as always. Make sure you're doing that. Now we've got a couple of other airdrop actionables. Camino's due to Soul Soul Meteor Pool. Get some Met Points. Mint Solana ID Priority Pass for exclusive solid perks and airdrops. Stake 20 milli bonk with bonk rewards and use Zello Finance Beta. They're just some of the things. So that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on Monday. Thank you.